name is Donna Belfi. I'm a teacher at Lopakong Middle School. Um, and I brought with me today some of my colleagues, students, and parent volunteers for Feed the Need. I brought them here today um, to show them God's compassion and love for people around the world in need and who are hungry. And just this morning, one of my colleagues actually said to me, Donna, this is an awesome place. Thank you so much for inviting me to come to such a place that I feel comfortable. Just hearing that was an answer to my prayer. So I'm just so excited to see how God will open the door for the lives of the children, the parents, and the teachers at Lopatcom. My name is Becky Kleinbell and I'm a sophomore at North Hunterdon High School. This is my third year doing Feed the Need with some of my friends. This year we decided to do a big sale to help raise money. It was a huge success and we raised $89.50. So we decided to do another sale. This time we raised $86.50 for a total of $176. Um, I've done bake sales with other clubs at school and it's usually a huge success so I figured we could raise a ton of money this way. I'm so glad God was able to help the bake sales be a success and that we can help pack again this year. Hi, my name is Rob Gebhardt, and I got involved with Feed the Need three years ago. Um, I've taken on kind of a hospitality role where I you know, secure donations from some of my purveyors on the outside, and we feed the staff that's here for the weekend. But this year I realized I wanted to do even more, so I took the opportunity to work. I promoted it with my colleagues, and yesterday at the Friday session I had 20 associates come and, and help pack for two hours, and it was just a great opportunity to, to share and to witness to them. Um, but I'm also reminded constantly that um, you know, God's always working in us. And I was at the gym on Thursday talking again about the event, and a third person approached me and said, you know, well, are you still collecting donations? And I said, I said absolutely. I said, we'll be, you know, be more than happy to take a donation. And he reached into his gym bag, pulled out a folded, wrinkled, blank check, and wrote a donation to the church. So uh, just a reminder that God is always working and is always with us. Angle, and I'm going to tell my, uh, my Feed the Needs story. About a year ago, we were thinking of participating in Feed the Need as a family. Um, I received an email from my college alumni group saying that they would be doing a local service project and details would be announced shortly. So I took that to mean they had no idea what they were doing. Um, and needed um, some suggestions, so I forwarded I them some information about Feed again. the Need. The and the next thing I knew, I got a message back from the group saying they were doing this great project called Feed the Need at a church in Clinton, New Jersey. So my family and I promptly registered and served with a great group of my college uh, alumni. An added bonus this year was that we were able to bring my youngest daughter, who was so excited to come that for the past month she's been asking me every morning when she gets up, how many days until Feed the Need? Is today Feed the Need how many days? So it has been such a blessing to be able to have her here, to be able to um, see my family so excited about serving and just being able to involve our family and friends as we look to them to join us and to raise support for Feed the Need with us. 